Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at this hundreds chart and we're going to talk about some skip counting. Now, a lot of people think skip counting is just things like counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It is counting by twos, but it's also counting by other things as well. Let's start look, taking a look at some ways that we can skip count. First of all, we can count by twos, just as I had mentioned. Two, one, two, four, one, two, six, one, two, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty. Do you see a pattern starting to develop? I do. One of the patterns that I notice is I notice that when I'm skip counting by twos that all of the numbers in this column are going to be circled because they all end in the same digit. So here each of these numbers the number in the ones place is a two, a four, a six, eight, and zero. So that's one repeating pattern that I see. Another repeating pattern I see is that it's every other number. So this one, skip this one, skip this one, skip this one, skip this one. So you can see that it goes every other number. That's another repeating pattern that we find when we skip count. Let's take a look at another pattern that you might be familiar with. We're going to skip count by fives. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 Do you see a pattern starting to develop? I do all of the numbers in this column end with a five in the ones place. All of the numbers in this column end with a zero. I also notice that the pattern repeats. Five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. That's something else to notice with patterns is with skip counting is the pattern or the repeating pattern that you see when you're looking at your hundreds chart. Let's take a look at another kind of pattern. Sometimes we can count by twos in a different way. We can count by twos starting with three. So we say one, two, we say one, two, 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 one, two. Now you might be thinking, wait a second, but that's not counting by twos. It is counting by twos, but starting with a different kind of number. This time I started with a three. I'm still counting by twos, but this time instead of having two, four, six, eight, ten, this time I'm using three, five, seven, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine, one. So that's another way to skip count is by starting with a different number. Do you think I can skip count backwards? Hmm, I bet I could. Let's start with 65. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So here I am skip counting, but this time I'm going backwards up the hundreds chart. That's another way that I can skip count as well. I can also skip count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's another way to skip count by using the number 10. 
But did you know that I can skip count by tens using any number? Yep, I sure can. How about if I use the number six? Ten more is twenty-six. Or excuse me, ten more is sixteen. Ten more is twenty-six. Thirty-six. Forty-six. Fifty-six. What would come next? Yep, sixty-six. How about next? Seventy-six. What do you think would be next? Eighty-six. Do you see the pattern? When I'm counting by tens, this time, the six in the ones place keeps repeating. I also notice that as I go down the hundreds chart, the number in the tens place is getting larger by one. Another way to notice patterns is to notice what's happening in the tens place, not just in the ones place. There are many ways that we can skip count and have a lot of fun with skip counting. I hope that you will enjoy doing some practice with some skip counting. Have a great day!